Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about the Scottish Terrier. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Scottish Terrier, Scottish Terriers, informally and fondly known as Scotties, originated in Aberdeen, Scotland. These dogs were bred to chase fox, badger, rabbit and other small animals that live in dens. Scotties are a kind of terrier, meaning they were bred to burrow. The name terrier comes from terra, meaning earth, because they go to ground. Strong-willed and fierce, the dogs were used to clear out vermin from buildings and drive badges from their homes. The first known mention of the dog was by Bishop John Leslie in his book History of Scotland from 1436 to 1561. He described him as a dog of low height, which creeping into subterraneous burrows, routes out foxes, badgers, martens and wild cats from their lurking places and dens. Most modern-day Scotties can trace their lineage back to a single female named Splinter II. She was owned by a Mr. J. H. Ludlow, founder of the Scottish Terrier Club of England. John Naylor brought the Scotty to the US in 1883 and the breed was recognized by the AKC in 1885. First, let's have a look at the pros. Alert and intelligent, Scotty is always alert and aware of its surroundings, which could make it a good watchdog. Adaptable, the Scottish Terrier can live in a variety of different settings. He is bold and cheeky, but also calmer and more dignified than most other terriers. It does not lose hair excessively. This breed has a hard, wiry, weather-resistant outer coat and a dense undercoat, allowing them to tolerate cold and hot weather fairly well. The Scottish Terrier dog is hypoallergenic with a low shedding coat and an ideal breed choice for those suffering from allergies. Scotties are a good fit for apartments and most living situations. It's now time to look at the cons, wary of strangers. This dog has a natural tendency to be distrustful towards strangers. Stubborn, Scotty may resist certain training methods unless you know how to handle them. Tendency to wander, the Scottish Terrier loves to explore its surroundings. It can become aggressive towards other animals, has a stalker instinct. He can be suspicious and unfriendly towards strangers in some situations, or when he is not socialized enough. Among terriers, it is one of the most strong-willed and independent. Scotties have a strong prey drive and will dig holes to find rodents, which could be a problem for some folks. Interesting facts, King James VI of Scotland was a huge fan of the Scotty in the 17th century and helped popularize them in Europe. Queen Victoria was also a fan of the breed and kept some in her expansive kennel and her favorite was a Scotty named Laddie. In Disney's 1955 film Lady and the Tramp, a Scottish Terrier named Jock is the friend of Lady, the American Cocker Spaniel. Barney and Miss Beasley were two Scotties who belonged to the former President George W. Bush and lived in the White House. History's most famous Scotty was Farla, the constant companion of President Franklin Roosevelt during World War II. Appearance. The little Scotty has erect ears, a medium-length tail, and a long face with intelligent brown eyes. While many people think of them as black, Scotties can also be grey or steel, brindle, or wheaten. The Scotties has two coats. The top coat, or overcoat, should be hard and wiry. The bottom coat, or undercoat should be soft and dense. Scotties are only about 10 inches tall and weigh about 18 to 22 pounds, 8 to 10 kilograms. Scotties have a good life expectancy of about 12 to 15 years. Shedding and grooming. Although the breed sheds far less than many other breeds, they will still shed. You can expect to find some hair on the floor as the seasons change. Scotties require clipping and trimming every few months, to keep their coat short and free of mats. This breed has a double coat with the outer layer being weather-resistant, repelling debris. Brush through their coat once or twice a week and soft bristle brush would be the most ideal tool to use. Hand stripping will be needed every 4 to 12 weeks and can be done with a stripping knife. Scotties should be bathed every 6 to 8 weeks. Wash through and massage the coat with doggy shampoo. Close attention should also be given to the ear, eyes, and teeth cleaning of these pooches. 
Brush your Scotty's teeth at least two or three times a week to remove tartar buildup. In summer, air drying is fine, but it is better to blow dry during the winter months. Cost. On average a Scotty puppy will cost $1,100 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $600 and $1,600. The average price of a Scotty puppy in India is around 30,000 to 40,000 rupees. Price range can vary based on the dog's quality, lineage, location and quality of the breeder. Exercise and trainability. Scotties will need up to one hour of exercise each day and terrier puppies may need longer. Due to their strong prey drive and independence, the Scotty could wander off and should always be kept on a leash. If a Scotty dog has access to a garden, don't plant any nice flower beds, this canine will destroy it in seconds. Dog sports such as earth dog trails, tug of war, catch, and agility are great ways to do this. Outdoor training is also a struggle due to the numerous distractions diverting a Scotty's mind. It is important the owner holds the alpha position and not the Scotty. Once they understand their position in the pack, obedience training can take place. Sessions should never surpass 15 minutes and even then, some find this too long. Multiple sessions a day over a period of months will help shape the Scotty into the well-rounded terrier they can be. Food rewards are a good way to keep this breed focused and small portions will help avoid weight gain. Scotties are not recommended for jogging and they can be a good companion in daily walks. Playing with them not only helps to keep them in good shape, but it will also keep them in a good mood. Intelligence. According to The Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Coren, Scottish Terrier is ranked 65. Understanding of new commands 40 to 80 repetitions and obeys first command 30% of the time or better. Swimming. Scottish Terriers, like most dogs, can naturally swim, but, they are not great swimmers and this due to their short legs and dense body, which makes them sink faster than they swim. They should be properly trained before they are taken to a lake or a beach for a swim. Barking. Scottish Terriers may not bark as often as other small dog breeds. However, they do bark when they see what they assume is a threat, and they bark quite loudly. The Scotty is not a yappy breed and doesn't bark for the sake of barking. They mostly vocalize when they are guarding their homes or when they want their owner's attention. Behind German Shepherds and Rottweilers, Scotties have been ranked third in alarm barking. Weather and climate, Scottish Terrier can easily tolerate cold weather conditions. They are a great option for those potential canine owners who are living in chilly and low temperature regions. The double coat definitely provides them with a lot of protection against the harsh climatic conditions. The Scottish Terriers have a good tolerance to heat. They do not face a lot of problems during the summer months as some other smaller breeds might face but still, it is recommended to keep these canines away from the excessive heat of the sun. They are known to make a fine fit for those people who reside in moderately warm and summery areas. Friendliness. This breed makes an excellent family pet although older children are recommended. The Scotty will not tolerate abuse and may run from or hide from a child when the dog has had enough activity. It may be better to have a Scotty around children who are a bit older, rather than the very young child. Normally, the Scottish Terriers are not so friendly with other canines. Scotty dogs can be dominant and even aggressive towards other dogs of the same sex. If brought up together since puppyhood, Scotty will do fairly well with other dogs. Scotties are hunter dogs, hence are not suitable for homes with smaller pets like cats, hamsters or rats. Their prey instinct take over them whenever a smaller mammal catches its eye. Early socialization with various other animals at an early age is highly crucial for these canines. Scottish Terrier can act aloof and are introvert towards strangers, which makes them good watchdogs. They should be more accepting towards strangers in their early years and need socialization to encourage friendly behavior. Adaptability. These munchkins, comes in a very compact and convenient size which makes them worthy for apartments. Scotties also, can adjust in any kind of lifestyle, in an apartment or in a house with yard. They don't require a lot of exercise or movement, and mostly remain very relaxed and contented inside their homes. 
Scotty are highly feisty and spirited canines, they require an experienced dog owner who could properly handle them and teach him to be more calm and sociable in nature. The grooming needs of these canines are also a bit on the higher side and because of all these reasons, they are not considered to be a good option for the inexperienced or first-time owners. Properly trained Scotty can be left alone at home for a good amount of time. These pooches don't seek the attention of their close ones all the time and are happy to stay alone for a few hours. It is important to fulfill all their toilet needs before leaving them all alone and also enough food and water should be left with them. But not all Scotties are like this and some might get a bit frustrated and become destructive when they are left alone for an extended period of time. Guard, Watchdog, the traits of a Scottish Terrier are more similar to a watchdog than a guard dog. These dogs are always alert and aware of their surroundings and they have decent protective instincts. These poochers are also highly territorial in nature which means they will not only just protect their home from any possible harms but they will also look after their owner's whole property including their yard, vehicle etc. Drooling. Scottish Terriers are not excessive droolers. They only salivate in an excessive manner after eating or drinking something or sometimes when they are excited. Health issues. Scotties are risky in the health department include bleeding disorders, joint disorders, autoimmune diseases, allergies, and skin conditions. Have you had any experience with Scottish Terrier? We'd love to hear your story in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.